Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how we do our ceramic coatings here. Now the process is a little bit different depending upon what ceramic coating we're using. Um, the flash times vary, some are very quick and some are very long. And so the one we're doing today is a little bit longer, uh, but I'm going to show you from start to finish how we do it. So the first thing that we do is we use a panel prep spray, uh, a solvent based panel prep spray, which is superior to traditional alcohol wipe downs. They did some tests a while back and solvent based panel preps uh, remove more from the surface. And I'm going to put some gloves on. And the reason I do that also, I don't want the oils from my hands uh, touching the surface. So whether you're polishing or not, you need to do a solvent based panel prep spray. It's one of the key pieces uh, to having your coating last as long as it should. All right, now I've mentioned it in other videos and we actually like to use a dreadnought or an amphibian junior to wipe off our solvent. And the reason is, is it tends to be grabby. Your surface should kind of grab. So right now it's, we polished this vehicle. We did a one step polish and it's nice and smooth because there's residue left over. So we're gonna remove that residue with the solvent-based panel prep and it's gonna make it a little bit grabbier. Now, I like to use these twisted pile towels softly so that we don't scratch the paint, but they glide over the paint for the same reason that higher plush towels do. So we're gonna soak the panels in panel prep. Now, a lot of people, and I used to do this too, I was guilty of it, you spray into the rag and wipe the rag, that's not enough. We need to soak these panels in panel prep spray. And we typically do maybe like half the car or like the front clip and then the middle and then the rear because once the panel prep spray starts to dry, uh, it gets kind of nasty and it's harder to remove and you may find yourself doing double the work. So at the very least, you're going to use multiple sides of a towel, but it's actually better if you use a, the twisted pile for the first wipe, and then this is getting kind of damp, and then we switch to a plush side, which is why we like the amphibian as well, because it has one plush side and one twisted pile side, but we don't want to leave any of that residue behind because it will get stuck on the paint, so to speak, and then you got to remove it. It's not something that you want a ceramic coat over. All right, I'm gonna load up my pad here, and of course we're gonna use the Saber applicator, uh, and we're not gonna have any concerns about the product leaking through. And so we, we got a decent amount on there, and I'm using the thick applicator, because I told you in another video that I really like that. Um, and you see I'm kind of going back and forth, and I'm, you know, you'll see like cross hatching, or you know, multiple passes, and the reason for that is primarily the coverage of the coating. And we want to make sure that, you know, we've covered everything. And as it starts to wear down, you get a feel for it. I'm just going to put some more on. And I don't want to give you like specific times because it's all going to depend on the coating you're using, the temperature and the humidity in your shop. You know, if you're mobile and using a coating that's kind of mobile friendly, um, that's going to impact things, sunlight, you know, the, all that. Um, right now it's a little, it's about 80 degrees because we've got all these lights on in here. And, but it's at 34% humidity, which definitely helps us out. And one thing that I like to do is I like to overlap panels. So I don't just do the hood like this. I'm going to, you know, be kind of indiscriminate as to where I wipe and then that way there's not like a fine line from one panel to the next that's not covered. All right, we're ready to level now. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our quad wipe for our initial level. And then we're gonna come back through uh, with our Korean Plush 470. Depending upon the coating, what I'll do is you know one one side on one panel and then i'll turn around and go back over it by flipping it all right uh, another important consideration is your towel your towel 
um, no matter how good, is probably not going to last uh, the entire car. I mean, it's really not gonna last the whole car. So once you start noticing the Tau is not picking up the residue from the ceramic coating enough, um, you're gonna wanna flip sides and eventually you're gonna run out of sides and so you're gonna have to have some clean towels on hand. And you really need to budget that into your ceramic coating process because if you try to push a towel too long, um, one, if it's a really long process, you, it could start to harden and then you could scratch the paint, especially on something like this on GM Black. Um, and also the money that you spend on additional towels um, will not compare even remotely close to the issues caused by missing spots and high spots on the ceramic coating that you now have to go and polish off. So the last part that I do um, before I finish is I grab my inspection light because nobody's perfect and despite all the lighting in here that's made it 80 degrees, um, you never know what you miss. So anytime I do a panel, I'm looking for a, a hazing is what I call it. And what that is, is like a rainbow effect. And if you see that rainbow effect, then there's still some ceramic coating residue on there. And we don't want to let that dry. So I kind of spot check myself. I've gotten to the point where, you know, I've been doing this long enough and I've done enough cars. Actually, I'm going to show you right here. If you look right here, I miss this. I missed this whole spot. I went over it and I missed it. So we, we caught it early enough. Um, but I walked right past that and didn't see it initially. That's a pretty big uh, high spot. And it's as simple as that. And then you just gotta pick and decide which towel uh, works best for you, what works best for your ceramic coating, and uh, go from there.